Welcome to another jQuery Academy tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make tooltips using jQuery. So basically what a tooltip is, is when you hover over an element on the page, it's basically a little information box that'll pop up and it's going to follow your mouse around until you leave that element, until your mouse leaves the element. So we're going to do this using jQuery. We're going to start off, I've made the index and I've included jQuery right there. I'm going to make a quick HTML scaffold and I'm going to call this jQuery Academy. Academy, okay, and uh, tooltips. And uh, next up, we need to include the jQuery library, so I'm going to drag that in. You can just type in the script element, and then we're going to make a script tag that's going to contain our, our code. So uh, next up, we're going to need the element that we're going to be hovering over. And uh, what we want is we want kind of a box that's going to be near the middle of the page. So I'm going to create a div, and I'm going to name it, uh, uh, we're going to call it um, my box. And basically inside here it's going to say hover over me for more information. And uh, yeah, so we have that. And right now I'm going to load this up in the browser, show you what it looks like. And uh, right now it's just hover me for more, over me for more information. It's not going to do anything. It doesn't look very nice. So we're going to add a style to this. We're going to type in style. We're going to create a new style tag. And we're going to style ID my box. And uh, to center it in the middle of the screen, I'm just going to do a quick margin dash left plus auto margin dash right equals auto. And then I'm going to say margin top equals 100 pixels. And I'm going to say width equals 200 pixels. Background color equals we're going to make it black, I guess, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And you won't be able to read the text until, unless we make it white, so we're going to make that FFF, FFF. We're going to save that, um, and then we're going to render it in the browser, see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. It doesn't look very good. I'm going to add some padding. So uh, maybe 10 pixels of padding. And then I'm going to add to the width so that it doesn't get all crammed in there. So there, there we have it. Uh, we can even center that text, so we'll go text dash line equals center. There we go, it's a nice looking thing. Uh, you can hover over that. Right now it doesn't do anything because we obviously haven't made the tooltip yet. And then, uh, so yeah, we're going to make the tooltip now. So the tooltip is going to be a little different. We're going to create it on over top before the my box element. It's going to be a divider also, and we're going to name it tooltip. And uh, inside here we're going to put uh, um, this is more information. Obviously, we don't really have any information we want to provide, so that's all it's going to say. And uh, so, yeah, we have that. We have that tooltip now, and now we're going to make a style for it. So we're going to go tooltip uh, curly brackets, and then inside here we're going to type in. Um, what are we going to type? In? First of all, the most important thing is that it has a position of absolute. Basically, what that allows you to do is it allows you to position it anywhere on the page, and it doesn't interfere with with other. Uh, elements on the page, like the my box, for example. So that's kind of going to let it float on its own. And then second, we want it to have a higher z index, so we're going to give it a z index of two. And then uh, next, we're going to give it uh, a width, width of um, let's say 300 pixels, padding of uh, five pixels, and a background. color of, I'm going to use the color picker, I'm going to choose something that's kind of a light gray, maybe, maybe up there, there we go, so now we're going to see what that looks like right now, that's what it looks like, uh, I'm going to give it a nice border, and uh, I'm going to make that uh, two pixels solid, and I'm going to make it black, so I'm going to go uh, zero, 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 now we've got a border around it, it looks all right, it's, it's pretty simple, uh, if you're using a browser like Safari, um, Firefox or Chrome, maybe even Opera, then you can do a border dash radius. And I'm going to make it uh, three pixels. That'll round off the corners. Oops. Border, rad border radius. That'll round off the corners a little bit. Maybe even more because it's not very noticeable on the screen. So I'll make it five. Into that. And uh, it's got rounded corners now. Uh, if you're using Firefox, you're going to want to put Moz and then border. Five pixels, 
And uh, I'm not sure about Chrome, you might have to look that up on the internet. I think border radius should work too though. And uh, so yeah, we have that now and it's positioned randomly in here. But uh, we want we want to add some features to it. So basically, when you start the document, you don't want this to be visible. You want this to be invisible until you hover over. So what we want to do is we want to go display equals none. This will hide that object, meaning it's not displayed, but it's still there. So what we want to do is in our jQuery code, now that we have that divider, we're going to go when the document is ready, run this function. So this function will be ran when the document is ready. So in here what we want to do is we want to go, um, when we hover over the my box, so div my box, or id my box dot hover, basically what hover does is you provide two functions and one is when the mouse enters and one is when the mouse leaves. So the first one will be um, mouse enters and then the second one will be mouse leaves. So in here what we want to do is when the mouse goes in we want to um, set my box or we want to set uh, dollar sign uh, tooltip CSS we want to set its display block. Block is basically the same as, it makes it visible essentially. So we want to set it to block. And then when we want, when the mouse leaves, we want to hide the tooltip. So we'll go tool t o l tip dot css display equals none. So that basically what that's going to do is when we hover over it, the tooltip will appear. And when we leave, the tooltip will disappear. So we're going to refresh this. It should appear, but it's going to appear over here. We're going to fix that in a second. But when we hover over, it appears. When we leave, it goes away. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're getting there now. And now what we want to do is we want to make it so that the tooltip is in the position of where the mouse is. So in order to do this, we're going to use uh, an event called mouse move. And this, we're going to use the document here because whenever the, docu whenever the mouse moves on the document, we want to trigger this function. So mouse move. And then we're going to go function, and inside this function we're going to put event, so it passes the event object so we can work with the mouse position, and we're going to say variable um, m x, which can which is going to tell us where the mouse x is um, according to the left of the left side of the document. So it's basically the space between the mouse right now and this side of the of the browser. So we're going to get that by going event dot page x capital X. And we're going to do the same thing for m, y, which is going to be mouse y. We're going to go event dot page y. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the CSS of the tooltip to correspond to those two. So we're going to go um, tooltip dot CSS. And we're going to say left. So its distance from the left is going to be mx plus pixels because it needs to be it needs to have pixels so it needs to know what unit we're using. And then on that chain also we're gonna do CSS and then we're gonna go top. Then we're gonna go MY plus pixels. So basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna position the tooltip right where our mouse is. And remember if it's if we're not hovering over the my box then the tooltip won't be visible. So basically whenever we're over the 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 my box it's gonna be visible and it's gonna be moving with our mouse. So let's try it out. So we're going to hover over, and there it is. It's kind of glitchy right now, and the reason that is because it's under the mouse, so we're going to fix that in a second. So what we want to do is we want to add a bit of offset. So to add the offset, we're going to add 15 pixels to each one of these. So we're going to go plus 15. This is, I'm just going to see how this looks. We're going to go refresh that, and now it's down there, you see? It's hovering around. It's good. So you can change that the offset to whatever you want. Notice whenever we leave, it hides again. We go back over, it's there again. So that's pretty cool. That's how you create basic tooltips using jQuery. Thanks for watching.